Hello YouTube. I just thought I'd uh, do a quick little uh, video here on a product that Darla and I have used for years. Um, when we first started um, full timing in, in our motorhome, we were uh, using a lot of propane in our RV. And one thing we looked into were uh, electronic, electric heaters, because we spend most of our time in campgrounds. Now people that are like in vans and different units like that or doing a lot of boondocking, this isn't gonna really do much for you. But for people who are full-time RVers and like motorhomes, travel trailers, that type of stuff, and spend a lot of time where you have access to electricity, this is a really, really good product. And I'll, I'm gonna show it to you. And I mean, here we're, I'm watching a lot of YouTube videos and people are freezing to death all over the country. And this is not the answer to everything, but it does work pretty well. And for the size of it, it's not something that takes up, well, let me show you here. This is our, this is our regular heater here, this fireplace unit. We use it quite a bit and it, it, it does heat, but when it starts to get, I mean, cold in any, at any level, this thing tends to not work that great. So what we use when it gets cold is we use this, it's a Barone. And let me show you the box. This is a unit, runs about $50. You can get it from Amazon at the RV dealer we used to work at. I told them about it and they brought them in and we, I sold a ton of these things and people were always coming back saying, well, thank you so much. It's the most powerful little tiny heater we've ever used. So. Here's some of the information. It's 1500 watts on high. I think it's uh, like 1100 watts on low. We use it in the Christmas tree uh, kiosk because uh, it creates quite a bit of heat. And I'll show you here. This is your temperature gauge here. So it has a thermostat. It has just a fan where it will just blow. And then it's got low heat. And then it's got high heat. And we never use the high heat. We always just use the low heat. And this thing right here will keep a 37 foot motorhome. It'll keep it pretty warm down to the low 30s. When it gets below that, then it starts struggling and you're gonna need, at that point, you're gonna need to turn your big heater on. At least I know in my machine I do because my water tanks and such are uh, heated by the big heater. This is a really, really good unit for cold weather. I'll show you something else we did. Darla made these, and these are made from sheets, and it's double sheets. They're, there's a sheet on the inside and a sheet on the outside, and they're nice and thick. They work really well for keeping this place comfortable and warm in the winter. So anyway, that was just a short demonstration of how this works, and then showing you those, those curtains. There's, there's a lot of things you can do. We have dual pane windows in, the, in our RV which makes a really big difference. The, where you're gonna lose most of your heat on a Class A motor home is gonna be the windshield. And where you're gonna get the most heat in the summertime is from your windshield. So I always put these covers on all the windows whenever we park. It tends to help with the cold and the heat, um, especially the heat. But uh, yeah, you wanna, you wanna keep that closed up and a little electric heater like this will make a gigantic difference and how cold you are and how uncomfortable you are. If you don't have electricity, never mind. But if you do have electricity, this is a great item to get. So just remember, here's the box. Let me show you one more time. It's a Brone Big Heat. And like I say, you can get them on Amazon. A lot of the RV dealers carry them too. All right, YouTube, thank you for watching. Please uh, hit subscribe and hit like if you enjoyed this video.